the latest announcement at Instagram just made podcast marketing interesting again. It's the Podcast Report, episode 86. Show notes, links, conversation, and more at thepodcastreport.com forward slash 86. So I'm a little late getting this episode out. Instagram has been in the news as of late, made an interesting announcement this morning that I've been playing with, looking at, examining. Boy, I've made a lot of mistakes already, and I'm sure I'll make some more in the future. But something kind of struck a note with me. Something was very, very interesting about what has happened over at Instagram, and I wanted to share it with you. Yes, here at the Podcast Report, love to do the evergreen stuff, but I think this change is going to change the face of podcast marketing pretty significantly. Um, at least in the social media space, and I want to be here at the front of it, and I want to show you how to do it because it's going to be incredibly powerful. Uh, the big idea is basically, like I said in the introduction, the latest announcement from Instagram makes podcast marketing interesting again. Um, the what? Um, Instagram has allowed video for a little while now, but it's always been about 15-second clips. Uh, 15 seconds is hard to convey an idea and a call to action. Um, you can do a clip for your podcast, but telling them where to go to hear more um, is something you need to do. Uh, the people don't necessarily know where your podcast is, and giving them a, an idea from your show plus a call to action is really hard to do in 15 seconds. Uh, 30 you can do it, and certainly you can do it in a minute. Well, now we've got some interesting options. So Instagram has gone to a minute. Um, Twitter is still at 30 seconds, but you know, obviously if Instagram is at a minute, it's also at 30 seconds. What does this mean? This means now we can do a 30 second video on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, first of all, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube represent a pretty tremendous market. Um, different demographics, different types, uh, but all of them, you know, could be a potential audience for your podcast. So, big idea. What if you made a 30-second commercial for your show? You made a video of it, and you did it quickly and easy, and you streamlined the process, just like we try to do here at the show, and then you took that and you distributed that video to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. What would that look like? Well, I'll tell you right now, if you head out to thepodcastreport.com forward slash 86, I have a 15-second version of the commercial for you to take a look at. Um, I haven't been upgraded to a minute yet. I haven't been upgraded to the 30 seconds yet. Um, but once I get turned on to the full minute on Instagram, you're going to see me do this across all of them. And if you head out to the podcastreport.com slash 86, you can get an idea of how to work because I've got embedded in there the Instagram link, the Twitter link, the YouTube link, and the Facebook link. I can see how all this comes together. Also on that page is a big blue button. You click on that blue button and I will get you a video of how I made it and how I cross-populated the video. Now, obviously, again, my account hasn't been upgraded yet. So if you sign up for this immediately, it'll be a day or so before the video comes through, or at least when Instagram updates me. But I do have a PDF also that explains the big idea here and what's going on. Again, all of that is at the podcastreport.com forward slash 86. You know, Yes, you could have done this before, and you could have done um, a commercial before in Instagram. Heck, you could do it in Vine, and I'm sure you could do it in Snapchat for as long as Snapchat lasts. But the fact of the matter is, this 30-second um, availability, this 30-second limit now or, or option across all four of these, makes it really viable to produce a simple video and produce put it across all four of them so that you can get that kind of traffic. It's um, not a hack, really. It's a strategy. You see, we know that movement wins in Facebook. If someone goes to Facebook and they scroll through, text gets the least amount of attention. The picture gets the second most amount of attention. Then moving video gets, gets the third. We know that. Why? Because the eye is um, focused on attention. And if we did that in Instagram, as they scroll through, it's more likely they're going to see our ad and our information. And instead of just being a clip and hoping they make the jump, if we do the call to action inside of the video, now we're at a really, really interesting place. So I experimented with that today. I was hoping to get my one minute limit today, but I didn't. But you can see a 15 second version of this. It's a bit hurried, but you'll get the general idea. Again, all those are at the podcastreport.com slash 86. But if you produced one, 
Send it across all four. Each one of these guys has a tremendous audience. Of course, you know, Facebook over, you know, 1.6 billion. What was the last number? YouTube a billion. So you got a, you got a couple of billion people that you could reach out here. And if you did this once and you did this right and you marketed this strategically, now you can keep people up to date with what's going on. Yes, there are external ones. You could do LinkedIn. You could do Pinterest. You could do some of the others. But the fact of the matter is just these four is a tremendous amount of space. Just doing it once is incredibly strategic and taking the full 30 seconds to do it right gives you some opportunities that we just haven't had before. And I want you to think about that. So I, if you look at the whiteboard on my uh, desk right now, it's it's full of ideas of how I'm going to streamline this process, how I'm going to make this something I do in all of my podcasts. I recommend you do the same. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be updated. Um, should happen soon. Again, if you head out to the podcast reports.com slash 86 and sign up, um, once I am updated, I will make the video and I will share the process with you. Go ahead and sign up for that now. And then when it all happens, you will be linked to it. A uh, short episode of the podcast report today, but I think this is an important one. I think this is an important idea. Head out again to slash 86 to see the examples. Sign up for the video and uh, PDF if you are interested in it. But at the most, take a look at those. Uh, figure out how you can start doing them yourself. If you've got a tool or an idea for rapidly producing these, I'd love to hear it. Um, social, uh, thepodcastreport.com slash Facebook, thepodcastreport.com slash Twitter, thepodcastreport.com slash whatever it is you normally go out to. That would be great. Of course, thepodcastreport.com slash 86. There's a comment section. You can leave your comments right there. If you've got an idea for how this goes, I would love to hear it. Um, in addition, this is a special episode, but we've got more coming. And the way you get these, the power of this is the subscribe. Uh, I've got a customer right now who's seeing some great listens inside of iTunes because he's got some really interesting promotion from iTunes, but the listens are once. If you're listening to this once, you're never going to come back. And yes, 86 is good, but 87 is going to be better. 88 is going to be better. 89, when we get in the hundreds, when we get into the 200s, when we get into the 300s, I want to make sure you get all of these automatically. So subscribe to the show. Uh, you do that by going to the podcastreport.com forward slash iTunes. If you are an iTunes user on the podcastreport.com forward slash Stitcher, or slash tune in, or slash Spreaker, or any of them. Um, whatever you do, pick the one that you like, pick the one that makes the most sense to you, but definitely, definitely subscribe to this show. All right. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.